Alex Oti shock Ibazo after exposing this information to Abian. See heavy reactions. Hello everyone, welcome back once again. Alex Oti have continued to make sure that transparency is the key to governance. And by doing this, he has played a significant role in making sure that the Abians and residents of Abia State and Nigeria at large are aware of all the transparency, are aware of all the transactions, are aware of all what transpired even as he has assumed office. It is very much clear that if every governor is doing exactly what Alex Oti is doing, creating infrastructure, working on the development areas and you know making sure that the rural areas are now well developed, just like the urban areas. You will find out that every state and every citizen and its habitant will be happy in this particular country. Now, Alex Soti went further, irrespective of the fact that he had made exposure in USA over the past administration and the fraudulent airport money that they took over 10 billion naira. And these exposures are now so clear and glaring to the residents and indigenous of Abians. They are now aware that Ibazo had you know embezzled a lot of money for his own selfish interest this is the same ibazo that went and started working alongside with yeso wiki they went and formed 5g governors just against the masses but for their personal interest now exposures are made alex oti have now revealed to abians revealed to citizens revealed to residents even nigeria at large that look at exactly what this government did irrespective of the fact that the airport they embezzled money you know he went and discovered another exposure of this particular government i'm going to be showing that shortly now before i do that let me leave you with what is happening in anambra state soludo who is supposed to emulate as a sitting governor from Alex Oti is doing, you know, something drastic. Just recently, Governor Soludo has started hiring, you know, Aboki to supply water to the newly built water fountain at Ochanjaranda. But watch this video and see exactly how this, you know, Aboki. Aboki, now you they put water for inside our. Our... How many you they put? How many trees do you go put on? Eh? How many? Three? Yeah. You can try. Hey! Oh, yeah. Ah, I'm okay, I knew you were. I'm okay, I knew you were. Salute on this This is indeed shameful. So shameful of a sitting governor. You know, when you don't want to do, when you want to do projects, why not do projects that are credible, projects that can stand the test of time? Now look at what and how you have ridiculed the project by sending, you know, citizens to go and start filling a, a, a roundabout that is supposed to be springing out water with a gallon. This is a substandard project. And you know the amount of money that must have been embezzled by this, you know, this project. Let me take you back to Alex Oti. Alex Oti recently visited, you know, Lopanta Market. Reinstate stands to rebuild it to a daily market conducive for business and also help the Hausa community resident there to get settled to better living environment as you could see on your screen he was in that place you know this was the market that you know a lot of criminalities we uh, encountered years back and now Alex Oti has restored what this market ought to be as you could see he visited this place by himself and you know had a word of encouragement with them listen to what he just stated and when we come back we exactly unveil all the exposures that has now been recently labeled and this has also shocked you know uh, Ibazu, the former governor of the state knowing fully well that this exactly happened when he was in government i said this place cannot be residential so all these residents will be brought down and then you have a better residence in the town huh? okay 
Or do you want to continue living like this? No, 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 no. Sir. Ah, it's not good. Uh -huh. So your children, you want to bring them up in a very distant environment. It doesn't have to be rich or big man. But at least there are some distant places to live. Right? Uh -huh. So explain to everybody that nobody is being chased away. We are all the same people. We are brothers. Some of you, we are born here. You are your father, we are born here. So nobody will throw you out. Uh, we want everywhere to be neat and this. Have you gone to Abandon? Uh, you have to go to Abandon and see how this place looks. And so we want everywhere to be neat. We want people to have what they are doing. Uh, we want people to have their exactly. Okay? Uh, all right. Well done. I don't say let me come and see. We are happy to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I thought I should uh, stop and see the level of work that is going on here. Uh, and I'm happy that work is progressing at great speed. And I'm also happy that we are cooperating with the SA and the Ministry of Lands and uh, Housing so that we can see. I said this place cannot be residential. So all these residents will be brought down and then you have a better residence in town. Huh? Okay. Or do you want to continue living like this? No, 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 no. Ah, it's not good. Uh -huh. So your children, you want to bring them up in a very distant environment. It doesn't have to be rich or big man. But at least there are some distant places to live. Right? Uh -huh. So explain to everybody that nobody is being chased away. We are all the same people. We are brothers. Some of you, we are born here. You are your father, we are born here, so nobody will throw you out. Thank you very much. Uh, we want everywhere to be neat and this. Have you gone to Abandon? Oh, uh, you have to go to Abandon and see how this place looks. Uh, so we want everywhere to be neat. We want people to have work. This is indeed governance. Alex Oti, you know, by himself, he didn't send a PA or no, an SA to visit these people. He went by himself and he went to see how the work was progressing. This is exactly what governance is all about. Now, he went ahead to make some exposure, as you could see on your screen. You know, Alex Oti, irrespective of the fact that he knew fully well that the last administration embezzled a lot of money, he stated it outrightly that he's not coming to, you know, probe or arrest the past administration led by Ibazo, but he is there to make sure he recovers all the money they looted and all the money they embezzled. And he went for that, you know, recently he have not he has not paid the, the workers and all of that, even pensioners for some time because of accreditation and other verification. Now, after that verification, this is exactly what happened. He told Abians that Abia government have identified 2,300 council, you know, ghost workers. And this have now saved Abia state a huge amount of money down to the fact that they have been saved of 200 million monthly. This is based on his exposure. This is exactly what he has stated. And that is to tell you that these 2,300 you know, ghost workers were ghost workers even the time when Ibazu was in government. And Ibazu failed to do this probing. Ibazu failed to do this accreditation and you know, get these ghost workers. You find out that some persons in government during the, government, during the regime of uh, you know, uh, Ibazu we are embezzling this money, standing in as these ghost workers. We are right, we are as they were not coming or representing or working for the government but they are earning money monthly this is now the exposure Alex Oti has made and immediately he did this a lot of praises began to come to him Valencia stated just imagine the amount of money being extended from the state's finance on monthly basis money that was supposed to be used to better the state and the life of citizens have been paid to some persons identified as council ghost workers thank God for sending Alex Oti to redeem good governance in Abia State.